It's odd to think about what exactly a, a life is once you've experienced quantum death. What exactly are the ingredients that make up my life? My ingredients aren't really any different from anyone else's. Carbon, calcium, hydrogen, etc. Held together with some energy. So what exactly makes me, me? I guess, if anything, I'm just a pattern. One that forms out of the chaotic blender of matter in the universe. Like a whirlpool out of the water. And when I die, that pattern simply dissipates back into the cosmos. Are we all the same universe simply expressing itself? Ah, can I read notes better today? <laughs> Guys, how's it going? Whammo here. Welcome back to Valley. We are still inside the facility looking for the life seed. The great amplifier of energy that can shatter the world, I think they said. So that's something no... You st oh my god, there's a lot of swarms in here. Uh, uh, oh. I'll note that when I reloaded this game, I had to rerun this entire level. Ouch. I like how when they hit you, they have like a red aura, like they're hurting you or something, but... They don't actually hurt you, they just drain a little bit of energy. Note from a researcher, the energy orbs growing around here are the key to the valley. Pendulum completely depends on the vast magnitude of energy these orbs contain within them, regardless of where they came from. They are the key to ending the war. Through Pendulum, we can harness the so-called Amarita energy out of the orbs and release it however we see fit. Oppenheimer's atomic bomb will pale in comparison to what we can produce here. An interesting thought, I suppose. Do I need to read all these? Are they all interesting? Oh, an infrastructure report. Uh, yeah, the reactor and the cooler are both located deep underground, separate locations, there's a tunnel connecting the two. Got it, check, we're good. Golden, you guys got any uh, plot dumps for me? Oh, jeez. Oh, some guards on the Night Watch have reported seeing large creatures. Some of them are shaken up. It might just be that being stuck out here in the middle of nowhere for so long is finally getting to them. Either way, we'll need a full annual psychological assessment for all personnel in the near future. Thank you. What was your name? Charlotte Smith? Yeah, Charlotte Smith, thank you. Uh, please re please note any suspicious activity to your supervisor immediately. Okay, well, I guess they were seeing large creatures wandering around. Perhaps there is someone else here. Perhaps the uh, the little oh, the little uh, the little dudes that run around on the ground, the little yellow things. Maybe they're not the only creatures out here. What uh, what else we got here? Oh, the observant, the astute among you may note <laughs> that I have uh, significantly more acorns and medallions this time than I did when I last left you guys. Well, that's for a specific reason. We'll get onto that later. Don't you worry about it. Hello? Oh, hi. He really wanted to say hello. Get down. Get down. Sit. Bad dog. These things are very glowy, and they're full of, like, little... You guys probably can't see this on YouTube, but they're like little flying cockroaches. Yeah, yeah, they're like, yeah, hmm? not flying cockroaches. Uh, what are those things called? Uh, the Bible talks about them. Talks about them a lot. Uh, locusts, locusts. They look like swarms of locusts. It's an interesting thought. The leaf suit. <laughs> okay. The leaf suit may prove to be the pinnacle feat of Pendulum. The ability to manipulate life and death using the God Hand, the agility, and the ability to circumvent death, all thanks to the Amarita energy converted from with from this valley's orbs. Hmm. We can create the ultimate soldier. The Mark II success will herald a new wave of iterations. It's an interesting way to put that last sentence. I appreciate it. Huh. Are these... Ah! These are the emblems for all the, uh... Mm. They had, like, teams that competed against each other. That's the Raptors. That's who we want to win. Everybody say hi to the Raptors emblem. What are you? You're the Land... Sh oh, that's a stupid logo. Land Sharks are stupid. We want the Raptors to win. Fuck yeah, Raptors. Although, Edward was a uh, member of... The land sharks, if I recall correctly. I may not, but I'm pretty sure that's what he was. Whoop! Snipe! Uh, what did that just do? <laughs> I just... Whenever I see the glowing... Yeah, uh, uh, what's that game? What's... What's the game with the big daddies in it? Uh... uh I don't remember. I, I for some reason, want to say Subnautica, but that's not it, obviously. Biohazard, bio, bio containment, bio breach, bio, bio something. Fuck, I'm a terrible person. What is that game called? You guys know what it is. You already, you already had it in your heads. I don't need to keep talking about it. You know exactly what it is. Give me all this, man, that's bright energy. I need to, well, I don't want that, but I'll take it. Uh, I need to try and find as many medallions as I can. Underground reactor, yeah, that would appear to be what this is. Interesting thing. Let's find a way to the reactor beneath the facility. Okay, I think. I think that should be manageable. We can do that. I see another chest over here. Yeah? Yeah. Da! There needs to be a down button. Like, a Tetris instant down button. Ooh, another note. Note from a researcher. Depending on the degree of magnitude, certain organisms, organisms provide very little Amarita energy when targeted by the leaf's god hand. 
Hmm. Smaller organisms such as insects, grass, flowers, and other less substantial entities provide close to zero energy, thereby affording no value for pathfinders seeking energy. We we already knew all that, but again, how do you hmm, how do you objectively quantify how much life is within a certain thing? Life is not quantifiable in and of itself. How do we open this door? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I want to know where. God damn it! If I would just find the Bioshock. Bioshock. I figured it out. It's a bio it's a big brother head from Bio. See, it's got the two eyeballs. It just needs a smiley face. It just needs a nice, welcoming, warm smiley face below it. Bioshock. How did I forget the name of that game? I don't know. Uh, is this gonna open or what's? Oh, somebody got smashed. Oh, poor bastard. He lost all his goo. Hmm. It's as bad as losing all your amarita. Can we? Ah! Ow! What the? F no! Do not want. I'm out. Peace. Bye, kids. Don't want any of that business. Woo! Let's keep some speed. Woo! Snipe! Snipe! There we go. <laughs> you... Do you see that shadow? Oh, it's the fan! The fan spinning around is causing a shadow. Interesting. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I, I touched on this earlier. I'm gonna search around a titty bit for... Oh, I think we might want to go that way. For, uh, extra... Damn. Forgetting what stuff's called. Medallions! Medallions. Hey, more notes. Uh, yada yada yada, ramping up productions, Fisher guy's out of his mind, yeah. We knew that much from the start. More stuff about Fisher? Oh. That just explains how the dying thing works, how you don't actually die. Wow, there's a lot of notes in here. Uh, yep, how they found the life seed, not important. Oh, he met Einstein, good for him. Good for Andrew Fisher, he's... Feel like he's an important person. Don't even know what to say about that note. <laughs> I may not even show that one. Well, I want medallions, I don't want more fucking... I don't want more random quantum lore business. You silly bastards. Does it not look like I should open that? I should be able to open that. Why is it all glowy? Why is there one? Oh, I guess it's on all of them. <laughs> Never mind. Carry on weird glowy control panels of some odd nature. Let's head down the intended path. There's no medallions to be had in here. Unfortunately. That sucks. So we can do this. Vipper strike. hee ya, hee -ya. Suck all the energy out of this and power this guy up. Alright. So we're getting there in the end. Uh, crane block overhead. So there is, but again, ah, oh crap. We need crap. No, 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 no. Ha <laughs> ha! I got another jump out of it. Well, I guess you have to go for this one anyway. Upsy Daisy. We need ah, that's what I want. We need medallions. We need little odd secret areas here and there. So I'm gonna be there's another one. Twenty two. So I'm gonna be taking you know, slightly odd routes here and there to try and find as many of those as I can. Which again, we'll get on to later, don't worry about it. Yeah, I know I'm gonna keep talking about it, but that's- Oh, I made that without using my double jump. Fucking baller status, baby. How much do you take? 26 acorns! That is a ridiculous price gouging price. This- this acorn door has the market cornered on acorn door prices. It's unbelievable how much they charge for these things. What is this? Just another power upgrade as they most normally are? Certainly is. Oh, look at that thing. How many of these things do I have strapped to my back? Look at how many power modules I have. <laughs> I've got like- Eight of those fucking modules strapped to my back. It's got to get heavy at some point, right? Well, I guess that's why you sink in water. Or, yeah, otherwise. What's down here? Hello? Nothing important. Oh, this is the circle around area. So, does this... Ah, this is the reactor thing. Okay. So, that's reactor access right there. Oh, that's convenient. Why did I think that something was going to raise out of the ground right there? I don't know. I tend to be pretty stupid. Well... Something did raise out of the ground. Let's just not. Let's not. See, oh! Don't know what I expected. Let's just not shoot those things. Uh, oh. Loading zone. The orbs that grow within the valley yield vast deposits of energy. We know this. Pendulum aims to win the war by harnessing this energy and using the life seed. Bombs created by them will probably blow shit up and be awesome, super great, mega awesome bombness. Good. That's cool. What do you contain? More energy modules? No! You contain... Roof staplers? I, do we need to roof a house before we can continue? No, what are these? Oh, the pushrod piston. Maximum velocity upgrade. Okay. Oh. Oh. What timing you have, elevator? <laughs> Thank you for falling. pushrod pistons will allow pathfinders to achieve an unprecedented velocity. By energizing the tunnel rails, the leaf suit should conduct enough energy to reach immense speeds. Okay, so they're the run fast boots. Ah, what the fuck? What was that? All right. Why did it make like a loud noise? Ah, that's why it made a loud noise. Well, I, I suppose we do this thing. Oh, it's very clangy. Very clang clang runny. Okay. All right, we're, we're, uh, we're getting there. <laughs> Look at this. 
We're moving. Oh my god. Yeah, baby. Ah, watch out for the vines. Ah, fuck. Jeez, those would hurt. <laughs> Slapping you in the face and whatnot. Wow. Don't, don't mind me, just run around this corridor. What is that? Fuck, stop on a dime. These things have anti-lock brakes. Like I said, we need to explore slight side areas, but I don't think... Yeah, no. Nothing out of that. Let's try some speedrun tech. There we go. That was completely useless. <laughs> I may or may not have watched an oh, speedrun of this game recently. That showed off some interesting tech for movement. Uh, this looks like some- Ah! See? There is a reason I went up here. You guys think I'm crazy for doing this. Have, an, have, have a thing. I wanted a medallion. I don't need those. I've got plenty- Look how much freaking energy I have. I could bring back like- uh, How many of those? One, two, three- I could bring back like 37 elephants right now. 37 elephants. Yeah. Because- Ah! Different things don't take different amounts of energy to bring back, but I imagine an elephant uses a lot of life essence. <laughs> Yeah, lots of energy. Don't need the upgrades. Don't need them at all. I need medallions. Uh, corners. Oh, that's awesome. Uh oh. Good. Okay. So I'm gonna keep doing this. I'll cut this out if there's nothing up there. Yeah. <laughs> nope. The answer's nope. Nothing up there. Nothing to worry about. Onward. Those broken rails would impale your ass so hard. Oh man, you don't even want to mess with those. Whoa. <laughs> Mind the gap. Yep. Uh, can I? Snipes. Haha, <laughs> sniped him. He had nothing on me. Uh, can't see the things on the sides. I'm hoping that there's gonna be some extra stuff in here, but it doesn't. Snipes! Snipe them! <laughs> it's like playing COD all over again. Did I get both of those things? I'm not gonna turn around and look, cause, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait. Wait. God damn, he stopped fast. Boop, boop. Upsy daisy. Boop. Is there anything up here? I swear to god, this game just taunts me with areas like that. Wow, you dropped fast there. There was nothing up there, guys, if you were wondering. Whoop! Uh oh, am I gonna make this nice music cue? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make that, no problem. <laughs> Holy shit, you run fast. Look how fast we go. It's incredible, and it's awesome at the same time. Ooh, got some, uh, some Halo 5 architecture going on here. Alright, interesting. Why would you build such a foreboding structure? I, I can't- well, now we're back to regular mine shafts. I was hoping we'd be entering the Citadel, or, you know, the Library of Fate, or something else interesting like that. Whoop, let's just jump for no reason. Uh... Hitting one of these rocks would be a bad time. Oh, look at that. The wall is the perfect distance away so you don't splatter your face into it. That's good. Was there a bump there? I must have <laughs> hit my toe on a pebble and it launched me. Uh, oopsie daisy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is something a normal human experiences in their lifetime. That's fucking... That's beautiful. Beautiful. Made it. No problem. Oh, yeah. Feel the burn, baby. Feel the burn. Keep on running, girl. You're doing good. Ha ha. Ha. Look at the jumps. And I have one more. Just keep going. Just keep going. Extend the distance. Why are there little blue glowy orbs on the tracks? It seems like these things actually recharge you indefinitely. Holy crap. All right. Well, that's a thing. Looks like there might be side areas down there, but I'm not going to risk it. Nah, it ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. Onward. I saw that. I saw you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Damn it. What does that say? Don't look or it takes you. Unintelligible sketchings. Why was there music here? What? Oh, this has like a serious- I can't look directly at it because it covers the lines, but... It's like some Slenderman shit right there. Don't look or it takes you. Huh. Hey, well if it didn't have unintelligible sketchings fucking all over it, I would put that as the thumbnail, but no! Also, there was nothing over there of any kind of use whatsoever. This is a long running section. I did not expect it to be this long. Not even close to this long, wow. Big facility, eh? Ooh, ran onto the dirt. Nope, get off the dirt. We need to keep maximum velocity, otherwise, you know. <laughs> Gotta go fast! <laughs> Lots of endless watery whoop, pits in this game, too, I've noticed. A lot of, uh, a lot of drops into endless water. Eh? Somebody needs to get a water pump in here and drain those out. There might be something down there. You never know, maybe an acorn of life. Uh, like a life seed, maybe? Oh, don't jump again! Oh, mind your head! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You lose your head, do you still survive from that? My bad, thought I saw something. Yeah, you probably wouldn't survive from losing your head. Except for the whole quantum death thing, you know. You just go to another timeline, some other guy dies instead of you. That's that's the whole freaking... That's the whole thing of these suits, right? Somebody else dies instead of you. Wow, we are just crossing through this area multiple times, aren't we? That's like the third time we've seen that chasm. Chasm? Hole in the ground. Eh, it's not quite a chasm. It is not big enough. It has not earned the right to be called a chasm. Or chasm. Very much so. Huh. <laughs> Jump over the big flamethrower thingy that is underground for some reason. That would quickly burn all the oxygen in the chamber and kill everybody inside, but we're wearing- Ouch! Leaf suits, so 
And apparently dying isn't an option for us. <laughs> oh, now there's some sweet rock and roll drum solo music going on. Oh. Okay. I, for some reason, didn't expect this. Uh, what did you guys expect at the end of that long, epic running section? Certainly wasn't this. What is this machine? <laughs> Who thought this would be a practical application of a single-wheeled cart? Massive or otherwise, it is never a good idea to use, well, I guess, a two-wheeled cart like this. Come on. With a, just one platform on top. This is never practical. I don't care who you are. Is there anything secrets-wise in this area? No, but it looks like a nice half-track for racing. Do some sick backflips off this... Okay. I'm, I'm going. I'm going. Sorry, we're going. We're moving off that uh, quarter pipe there. would be pretty awesome. This, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's not practical. I don't care who you are right there. Game or otherwise, my suspension of disbelief is unsuspended. I suddenly disbelieve. Whoa, what is... This is a really long, big, huge corridor filled with amaritas. No, uh... What do they call them? Shit. I am a terrible... I can read notes today, but I forget words. <laughs> it's always something, isn't it? It's gotta be something. What? Oh, now this is a half pipe. Look at this thing, I think. Yeah, look at that. Let's see, we got the little lines on it. Here we go, you ready? We're gonna half pipe 180 nollie off this bitch. Woo! Yeah, did you see that? That was awesome. Yeah, Tony Hawk would be proud. I'll, I'll tweet him and show him that, and he'll be like, Wow, that was amazing, dude. How'd you even do that? I'd be like, I don't know. I'm just fucking awesome all around. Uh, is there any medallions up here? D-I-S-O medallions. Anyone? Hello? Guess not. Uh, <laughs> You know, I will say this game has its fair amount of open areas for you to explore. And I feel like they wanted to put more in it. Maybe they didn't have the resources, but there's definitely room to have more cool stuff. So yeah, they, ambitious, I guess is the word I would use. Look at all the acorns! Another upgrade, too. I am ordering a 300% increase in production to meet quotas for a megaton blast yield, produced in three days' time. But of course, our trump card lies in the Thanatos cannon prototype under development. Its power, unlike anything Oppenheimer could possibly fathom. With this technology, we'll become the closest thing to gods the world has ever seen! Interest. how do you test a life bomb? Do you drop it on a forest? Somewhere that nobody cares about. Okay, just a big button here. You know me, I gotta press buttons, so fuck it. Push that button. Do you drop it on a forest somewhere and see what radius things die in? How did I miss the giant door in the middle of the room? Did you guys see that door? Because I sure as heck didn't. What, what are we opening up to? Fear the light. <laughs> so bright. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, testing the life bomb, or the whatever weapon he wants to make, is... Seems like a really hard thing to do, and if you get it wrong, you could kill anybody trying to view it. So that's a that's a thing to worry about. Is this the life seed reactor? It's, yeah, it's huge. Did I just turn it on by walking in here? There's a lot of moving parts for you know strictly an energy reactor. Fissures all but ignoring any of my pleas to slow down what they're doing to the valley. We're speeding blindly past the point of no return. Edwin can see it too. Animals have all vanished or died off. Trees are withering away. Even those Amrita swarms have become incredibly aggressive. And the damage. What will happen to that? With word coming in over broadcast of victory in Europe. Demons. Love. Well, demons, I think, are what they're called. I don't care how you spell it. They're demons. Alright, well, we got another big red pushy button that says reactor control. I feel sorry for the chap that had to operate this thing. Just one big, huge fist slam anime button, and it turns the whole entire thing off, I assume. Is that what we did? Oh. We did something. It's a rather complex fist slam button. you think there'd be procedures to this. But, uh... Nope. Just, uh... OSHA has no place here. <clears throat> so what is this? Is this the core of the... I don't like green gas. Green gas isn't good. Is this the core of the reactor? Well... God, didn't realize the whole thing was being, power <laughs> being powered by an alien egg. Uh, are you sure I should get close to that? A face hugger might pop out. Of course, I am wearing a life suit. If a dude in a life suit gets face hugger, does he still die? <laughs> or does he go back to a... <laughs> Uh, to a timeline where you didn't get face huggered. I guess it wanted me to take that. Where did you put that? 
Now, the life seed amplifies any energy that passes through it. More testing needs to be conducted to further learn of its effects. Uh, hey, where did you put that? Are you just holding it? No, you're not holding it. Okay. Oh no. We're in danger of life extraction. I don't want my life extracted. Is this the right way? Hey, let's land on this power cabling up here. This seems safe. Hey, I guess the right direction. Also, power cabling? How does Amrita travel? Does it work through wires like normal power or is it something... Oh god, something else. Because, uh, yeah. Also, where the hell did I put that giant alien egg? Do, do I have a backpack? I tried to look on my back, although that obviously isn't going to work. It's first person and whatnot. facility built within the valley, named Astra, works in unison with Soma. The valley's orbs are harvested at the Astra Whoa. facility, which then cycles through the Soma reactor to be amplified and returned to Astra for weapon creation. The two facilities are interdependent on each other, like yin and yang, to maintain a balance. Two things. One, why the hell didn't we know that taking that life seed out of there was gonna blow up the facility? And two, what was that ghost thing? You, what are you? Hello? Are these the ghost figures that people were talking about? Maybe? Perhaps? Hello? Uh, why did it turn into a horror game all of a sudden? I didn't, I didn't think this was a horror game, but apparently it's going to be. Oh, it's awful explodey though. Very, very explodey. Yep, there, okie dokie. That's, this is what we're doing. This, hello? Nice glowing eye, can I help you? No, 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 bad dog. The only thing I can do is shoot life at it, which seems kind of counterintuitive. I guess, so I, mm. yeah, I don't know. Prison rules here, man. If something rushes you, shoot whatever you've got at it. If that thing that you've got happens to be life-giving energy, then, you know, guess you pulled the short straw today, huh? <laughs> But in my case, because the situation we're in kind of calls for it, I think we'll be fine. Uh, can I run down this? Thank you, that was weird. Oh, it's a loading trigger, that's why. Pendulum's bombs rely on Astra's link with Soma. Interesting. The Astra extractor pulls in energy, typically from orbs, to deliver to Soma, while the Soma reactor amplifies the energy and sends it back to Astra for weapons creation. Hmm. That's curious. Why didn't we know about that link beforehand? I don't know. Seems like an important thing to know about. Hey, guys. Did you see the big floaty monster thing come by this way? He kind of got disappeared on me, and I don't know what happened to him, and I'm a little bit concerned about it. Although, on a plus side, it seems like... I'm running really low on energy. It seems like fire stopped him, so, you know, physical threats and whatnot. We can actually hurt him. Do I have a gun? Can I get a weapon of some nature? Because apparently, yeah, like I said, physical threats. We can shoot the damn thing. It seems to hate fire, so I imagine it'll hate a bunch of hot steel even more. Does this have... Nope. Sure doesn't. That's three or four to get another energy coil. What did I do? Oh. Ugh. I'm sorry, Valley. I didn't mean to. Oh, that's evil. I... Yeah, that's probably Astra. I didn't mean As to, Valley. I'm sorry. We cannot allow Astra to operate without a link to Soma. Otherwise, it will pull energy indiscriminately until it has robbed life from the entire valley, or even the entire planet. There should be enough energy within Soma's auxiliary reserves to sustain the link for years. However, if the link to Soma is ever disrupted, Astra will need to be shut down immediately. Yep. That's, uh... <laughs> missed that jump, didn't I? That uh, seems to be important. Like a thing we should probably know about. Alright, Viper Strike, you're kind of getting your use out of you now, aren't you? No kid that needs to be shut down. You wouldn't think we'd be able to yank out the life seed. You think the alien egg would stay in place if uh, you know it was so important? But uh, seems any idiot can just run up and hit the big red fist slammy button and be able to, all right, blow up the entire island with very little recourse. Oh, I mean, you're probably going to get your life extracted, but very little recourse. What is? What are you? Stop it. I'll no doubt be charged with treason if I'm caught. Maybe even executed. But this is larger than me. This valley. It could very well change the world. I have to save it before it's lost forever. Good thought, Virginia. Good thought. I'm glad it showed her name there because I actually had forgotten what her name was. <laughs> So Virginia's trying to work with Edwin to try and stop the military from uh, harnessing all of this valley's energy. 
Which is a curious thought, in and of itself. Hi? Are you like an Amrita Storm? What are you? Do I need to life energy you? Uh... Okay... Ah! Okay. Um... Hmm, this raises a lot more questions than it answers. Where did you go? Friend? Oh, well, he's, he's gone. He fucked off. He's tired. He's had a long day of pillaging. Oh, there's another one. One, two, two... Okay, well, I missed two and two. Uh, two, three? Three? Four. Did I miss one of those? I don't know. They turn into white ghost antler things and drop a bunch of orbs when you kill them. That's... Curious, I guess. Let's, that seems to be the intended path. Let's go down here. Because, again, you know, medallions. Gotta have them. Is he gonna come down here and cause issues? I think he might. Uh, cave in. Okay, well, that's not good. Oh, well... Game, why did you let me come all the way down here if I couldn't actually go anywhere with this? Damn it. Well, I guess we run back then. There's no way those little valley dudes, the little green things, the things they call demons, aren't related to those things. They're way too similar looking and operate under the same circumstances. So maybe they're like... They're young? Maybe they're midgets. They're all horribly, horribly disfigured and we'd be doing all of them a favor by murdering every last one of them. Or perhaps they're a competing faction. Well, good to know there's some candy in here. I, uh... I was getting pretty hungry. Uh, I will note that we haven't eaten the entire time we've been here, or drank any water. We've been doing a lot of running, so, uh, good on this girl for having the, you know, water retention of a camel. Uh, up and over? Up and over, I guess. Hi! Three? Three. Let's get a good look at this. Blow up. Yeah, you definitely got demon horns. Oh, you're crazy looking. They're creepy, crazy looking things. I don't know what the compression is going to do to that, because there's a lot of particle effects, but... They're kind of creepy. I see you. They're kind of creepy, crazy looking angel ghost things with... Horns, yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Interesting, I suppose. If, yeah, I don't know. It's something. So what are we- we're still trying to get to the facility then, but we're taking kind of a roundabout path. Uh, you think the, uh, Pathfinders would have a better path, considering that's what they do for a day job. You think they'd have a better path to get between facilities, but... Apparently not. So we're gonna do this. Pop. And maybe we can make this. Oh, I hope we can, yeah. Let's pop you from a distance. You guys are very unsafe. Let's look at this one again, too. Oh, don't jump into his face. Yeah, they're creepy looking glowy things. They drop orbs when they die too. It's very sparkly. Very, very sparkly. Interesting. How many of these have I missed? Because I have the odd feeling I've missed a number of them. Because I've just kind of been cruising along. If you guys made it this far, by the way, I hate to call you out right now, but... Do you like the longer episodes? I don't know. I kind of like making longer episodes. I would prefer to do these like an hour long chunks, but sometimes the game just... ...doesn't allow that. You know what that reminds me of? Do you remember Half-Life 2? Ooh, it's been a long time since I played that game. I think that's what it is. The ending has like an explosion like that from a tower. It looks super wicked awesome cool. Yeah, that's kind of what that reminds me of for some reason. Uh, the, uh... The Half-Life 2 Source Engine, uh, was extremely good back in the day, you know, for as far as... ...being extremely playable. I don't know. I just, I've always liked the look of Source Engine things. Where were you aiming, bud? You completely missed me, fool. Ah, <laughs> loser. You can't shoot for shit, buddy. Wait a minute. Did I? Eh, I probably missed some stuff down there. That's fine. It'll be alright. I think we should have the medallions we need by the time we get to where we want to go. But, uh, yeah. If we don't, then I'll just backtrack and get whatever I can. It's not gonna be a big deal. So let's not make it into one. Oopsie daisy Is this where I want to go? Why do I feel like I was already in there? I like the safety fence in case you're an idiot and missed the jump. Which I made, you know, with a margin to spare there. I could have not double jumped at all. Oh, look. Notes from a Pathfinder. I miss the winter months up here. Nothing beats running on the snow with these snowshoe attachments on my leaf suit. Sliding down hills, gliding on ice, and just sitting back to watch the demons chase snowflakes are some of my favorite memories from this place. Ye uh, yes. Uh, flavor text aside, interesting thought that there are snowshoe upgrades and that they even mention winter time. Hmm, the leaf suit Mark 1 proved successful in its capacity to manip manipulate Amarita energy on a small mobile scale. The Mark II saw the addition of Pilot Amarita Infusion and stronger protective plating to the thighs. Hmm. Pilot Infusion with Amarita? That's interesting. So you have more life than what you have now? Mark III research and development is still underway. Curious. That would suggest that there are more than, uh... There's another suit that's stronger than ours. Although, I don't know if ours is Mark II or not. Yeah, it's just a note saying that the two systems, uh, the two distinct facilities are extremely dangerous. Uh, being linked together as they are, it's a very delicate balance. Yeah. So what are these? These are more, uh, these are more leaf suits. Do they tell us if they're Mark 1 or Mark 2? Ida Graves. 
Victor Gray, Edwin Hall. Uh, ooh, that's uh, that's our our chick's uh, love interest right there. James Howell and David Hopkins. David Hopkins. That name sounds familiar. Hmm. In any case, Edwin's suit is missing. Am I wearing Edwin's suit? Ours was in a container down by the beach in a cargo truck, suggesting he might have been trying to leave? Hmm, dot 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 question mark. Might be buried in the notes what, uh, what's going on. Oh, here you go. I think we might almost have enough medallions to get into that ancient pyramid near Astra. Word has it that the Raptor Squad is picking up pace, so we need to work fast. That is why I had to get more medallions, kids. Uh... I know that there is a pyramid somewhere. We haven't run into it quite yet, and in order to get in, you have to have enough Edwin medallions to open the door. Agreed to help. If only to make sure nothing happens to me. One of his squad mates mentioned to him a weapon being built at Astra. Some sort of cannon. We should be able to use it to destroy Astra beyond reparation. Enough to shut down this project. Unfortunately, everyone is working round the clock with the increase in production, so we'll need to pull an alarm to get everyone out. We can then sneak into Astra through the underground tram tunnel that connects the two sites. No one should get hurt. Or hopefully caught. To whomever may find this recording, please understand that Fisher has strayed beyond reason. If we don't put a stop to this madness, they could destroy this valley. And with power like this, maybe even the world. If we failed, please do whatever it takes to stop them before it's too late. Okay, so there's a lot of notes in here. That seemed like an important memo there. They're going to use the cannon, the, the testing cannon, to destroy the facility and escape via the underground tunnels. There is a shit ton of lore in here. I'm gonna uh, parse the notes, if as it were, and I will give you a synopsis of what I find in a moment. So all these notes contain information. Uh, basically, they're back and forth while they are planning to try and stop the project. Uh, Virginia and Edwin here, a very cute couple actually. It's a good picture. Uh, and saying that they shouldn't get caught. Oop, I missed this one. Please be cautious when traveling through the utility tunnels. Listen and watch for possible signs of collapse. The load-bearing beams appear to be warping under the stress of the mountain weight. Cues will be sent out weekly to monitor tunnel integrity. Huh, so the tunnel's not in very good shape. So they were going to use the big gun. I, the name of the project escapes me at the moment. Again, if it's not one thing, it's another that I have problems with. Ooh, explosion. Uh, the name of the gun escapes me. They're going to use that gun to destroy the facility and escape via the underground tunnel. Now... I don't know how far they got, and it may very well be that the truck we encountered upon crashing here in our kayak, which, you know, bad, bad person, bad main protagonist for crashing your kayak. Hello? May very well be their escape vehicle that had crashed or been captured, so it's hard to say. Uh, something about ramping up production, yeah, yeah, yeah. People are worried about this whole ramping up production thing because the Manhattan Project did so well. Uh, the, the nuke development project did so well, so they're ramping up production here in the late 40s. Early 40s. Late, I don't know. You, you know you know the time of year. Whatever. 1940s. And, uh, yeah, people here are concerned that the ramp up in production will cause the system to become unstable and end up destroying and or killing everyone. Can I do this? Is this gonna work? Uh, oh, game. You're no fun. So, yeah, that's the that's the plot dump that I've been going through now, I suppose. Uh-oh. Thanatos cannon. That's it. The report came from a colleague of the alleged perpetrator, suspecting him as a potential Soviet operative. Since we only have one man's word to go on, we will need to catch him and any other accomplice in the act. As such, guards will be posted discreetly at Astra. Nothing will intervene with pendulum's completion. Jesus, dude. That dude just went from... 0 to 100 on the crazy meter. Nah, I'd say he sat at a solid 60 before he started going crazy, but... They did know about Virginia and Edwin's plan. That's... interesting. Flavor text about a guard sleeping on duty there. And seeing some of the... demon things, I imagine. I don't know, I didn't actually read the note. <laughs> Cause that's how that's gonna go, you know? So we don't know Virginia and Edwin's fate quite yet, but I would be curious to see what actually happens to them. I will note that I've reached the number of medallions that I wanted to have this far into the game, so we are good on that fact. Can we do a sick half-pipe trick? Can 
Okay. Hello Q&A. Yeah, try running up a curved wall until you reach about the uh, 45 degree angle and then see what happens. <laughs> so we're still trying to get to the facility. Like I said, we're going kind of a roundabout path. I don't know why we're going such a roundabout way. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Hello? Notes and a prison cell. Uh-oh. Note from Virginia King. To whoever may find this, please stop Rendulum at any cost. Andrew Fisher has gone mad and won't stop short of harming this planet to satisfy his pride. Do anything you can to disrupt this project before they destroy the entire valley. There is nothing I can do now. Virginia was captured. Music box. Oh, So Virginia was captured. Was Edwin captured as well? Do we get any idea of what happened to him? Ah, I doubt he would leave without her, right? Like, there's no way. Is there any other sign of anything? The door is open. So maybe when shit started to go bad, or when they abandoned this facility, they... She got out? I don't... Hmm... D.I.S.O. more information, please! Tell me what happened! <sighs> Report from a guard. Edwin Hall, Pathfinder, Private First Class. Conceded guilt in regards to sabotage and in regards to sabotage attempt. Hmm, interesting sentence. Claims full responsibility and denies Virginia King's involvement. Denial of espionage or collusion with foreign governments. So they did catch him. That's too bad. They caught both of them too, because they're briefing Edwin. Well, that's no good at all, is it? What does that power up? Mm hmm. Something in the other hall? Ah, something out here. Good. They caught him. Hmm. So then maybe his suit was down by the valley then. Maybe that's where they caught him at. And we are wearing Edwin's suit now. I am very curious. Ah, Private Matthews. He is the one that turned in Edwin for his attempted sabotage of the project. That's too bad. Private Matthews, shame on you. You should have known better than that. This door has seen better days. I am surprised it's even still opening. That's- oh, that's creepy. That's- good on you, door. Good job. Way to- <laughs> way to fight the good fight. Virginia! Yes. We know she went to prison. What happened to her, though? After that. So where are we supposed to be going here? My marker says yonder way, but... There's a giant- whoa, hello. There's a giant demon head here. Let's, uh, let's do a little wandering, shall we? And if nothing comes of that, I will report to you as I go inside the mouthy hole. Yeah, there was nothing out there. So I don't know why they were carving this thing out of the ground. Why would they make such a... Such a big idol like this or perhaps this was in the process of being carved when we got here and found it Which I guess is entirely possible, but to have the scaffolding still intact after you know 80 years That's pretty darn impressive if you ask me Did I miss a power-up I did got to turn all the lights on so we can see What exactly is going on? What's that hole there? Hi, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to Okay, he's done. Yeah, okay. So what is this like an enemy gauntlet or something? Well, why are their enemies attacking me now? Well, I don't know if we could say this is attacking. Maybe they just... They just need a little bit of love. This is... God, they drop a lot of blue things when you shoot them with your all-powerful life energy. Also, does anybody else find it odd that we are slaying these things with life energy? Why am I not draining life from them to kill them? Perhaps I should try that next time. Next one of these we see, I'll try to drain life from. And, uh... Perhaps that's a different way to dispatch them. Maybe I just... Don't know about it. Uh, what is... The crate here. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if draining life. Well, what now? What upgrade do we have? Okay. Well, we got more batteries for our uh, staple guns. <laughs> Run along magnetic wall surfaces with a magnetic feetsies upgrade. Fantastic. How do we do that? Well, just apparently run into the walls. Good. Works for me. Anyone else turn their head sideways? I did. Okay, the so there's a path up and there's an acorn door here. 24 acorns! Alright, acorn economy has gone through the roof. This is just a rip-off. I'm starting to regret my investment in the pinecone market. If acorns are going to be this much value. Hello, foot! It has been a long time since I've seen you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Medallions and, I assume, an energy upgrade, right? Because, you know, we need more energy. Look at how little energy I have. I need more. More power. Can that thing, like, go across the screen? Because I have a whole crap ton of energy right now. Now, can I just do this? Oh, perfect. Thank God. Yeah, so I think we have enough medallions to not worry about it. What happens if I jump right now? Uh. Yep. Wasted everybody's time. That's what happens. Jumping was a bad idea. Who would have thought, right? Who'd have known? Get off the wall. Ah! Oh. 
There's some life trees. Okay. Why would they? I don't know why they brought back that mechanic. Seems a little odd, but whatever. Whatever. Back to the outside world where everything is horrible and dying from. Oh. Oh, it's so painful. Everything just dies, except for me. I don't even get any energy taken from me. Although I contain enough energy to, like, restart a whole civilization of dead people. Look how much energy I have right now. It's ridiculous how many lives of things I have stored inside my giant metal suit right now. It's a little redonk. All right, so we got a little wall here. Yep. Should I try and drain this guy? Let's drain him. Uh, nope. It appears to not work. I cannot, I cannot drain the guy. Huh. Let me get a little closer and see if I, perhaps I misread something here. Oh, I appreciate the light shining up the wall to show you which way you can go because this is a, uh, an intersecting path here. This is the old area we were just in. Kill! So now we use our Fitzy upgrade. That's a pretty big sequence break, actually. You can just completely avoid this Fitzy upgrade if you can find yourself a good jump up to this little area. Fascinating. Fascinating. I'm sure speedrunners love that tech. No. I'm willing to bet speedrunners, well, since I've seen the video, speedrunners do have a much better tech getting around in this game. Well, that's just a note. Note from Worker. These damn Pathfinders keep getting in the way. They keep fucking up our loading schedule and screwing everything up with the trains running along the side of them and shit. We gotta stop these Pathfinders. They're messing up the whole distribution system. Yeah, that sounds like a typical worker. Not concerned about the formalities of written, you know, whatever. Making proper formal arguments about stuff. Says fuck that. Pathfinders are bad regardless. What is that? Oh. There's like little scribbles in the... You see that? Am I just crazy? Are these drawings? Must be. I'm crazy. Alright, we need hearing protection, we need work boots, and we need work gloves. Cause fuck hard hats. Nobody needs hard hats. No hard hats whatsoever. Something falls on your head, it is your own fault. What? <laughs> that is a weird requirement of working uh, utensils there, or working protection. Uh, what is this? Where are we go? Whoa! Jump! <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh. <laughs> that was a ri ah, corner! Wow, you stop on a dime in this thing. That is a risky little path right there. Jumping- Hi! Hey, how are you doing? Wait. I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. Huh. He- He actually went away. Oh, never mind, he's back. Hey, friend. Ow. How are you? You can't actually do much damage to me, I just want to look at you. Come here. Come here, you hidey bastard. What are you doing back here? Ow! Yeah, that's really not ow, though, because he really doesn't do much damage. And he drops little orbs. Thank you. So... Yeah, I don't... These guys really are no threat, they're just intimidating looking. And they're like angels when they... Huh. And they drop pine cones. No, acorns. Acorns. The pine cone is the economy you invested in poorly. Because the pine cone economy is in the shitter right now. What, uh, what's back here? Oh, looky here. More medallions. I can always appreciate more medallions. Man, these magnetic walkways are getting their 10 cents, aren't they? Fucking everywhere. That's a lot of iron to be using in such a place. I mean, I can't imagine metals were cheap back in the 40s. I mean, for God's sake. They're, they're building all- Whoa, fell through the gap. They're building all kinds of crazy shit in here. Although I do appreciate, uh, yeah, future tech in old games is kind of weird. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, like, uh, Bioshock, how they have, like, old-timey looking futuristic shit. Does that make sense? Things that do what we have nowadays, but they look old-timey? Mm. I don't know a better way to explain it. I don't like it. Whatever the case. Oh, I'm full on energy. I was hoping that was something more useful. I don't like the, uh, rustic is not the right word, but... Yeah, I, I'm gonna keep saying old-timey like an idiot. I like the old- the not old-timey look. I like modern looking stuff. Huh. Now I'm almost- How do we get out of here? Do we go down that way? What's back here? Oh, apparently... I was hoping I could break through that, but no. This is just on the other side of that wall. Ah. Uh, ah. Anything up- Aha! <laughs> well, oh, damn it. Son of a bitch. Whammo is the smart making! Yeehaw, baby! What do you got? God damn it. I don't need more energy upgrades, game. Do you see how much energy I have right now? It's a little bit ridiculous. I mean, I could fund a third world civilization with this energy. It would be- it would be awesome. Give me your energy, stupid mushrooms. Here we go. Don't- don't mind my hate for mushrooms. I don't actually hate mushrooms. Yeah, give me all that! Oh no. Oh no. Huh. We're good. We're fine. I made it. That's good. I- I wasn't worried. Were you guys worried? I wasn't. We're fine. Hey you. How you doing? Is there two of you or just one? Ah, uh, there's two. We're gonna kill? No, kill is not the right word. We're going to liberate these things. I don't... We're like giving them life and it's getting rid of them. That is a weird thing. Surely there's some kind of plot point to that. A member of the Pathfinder Division and an on-site anthropologist 
have been exposed as traitors during a covert attempt to destroy Astra. Security personnel caught the culprits amid the act and placed them under arrest. Oh. Sorry, guys. I don't, I don't know what became of you, though. I would really like to know. It looks like they're going to shoot him, but I... She was in a jail cell. I don't know that... We know that didn't happen. Still, it's curious nonetheless. Is there any items back here we want? No, sir. There is not. I'm looking down to see if I'm even recording. Wow, still haven't gotten that out of my system after, what, a year and a half of doing this? Nice. Nice, Whammo. You are a skilled YouTuber. What? Ah. Until then, all suspects will remain in detention. With the recent increase in production, it should not be long. So, we got our leaf suit along with uh, Victoria. Victoria, what's her name? I am terrible with names, guys, and I am sorry. The chick's, uh... Uh, recordings. So, that would suggest we intercepted the transport after they had been caught. And he ordered all the leaf suits to go back. That's interesting. I could have kept my momentum and jumped that for sure. Uh, interesting. Okay, so this was Edwin's leaf suit, and that's how we got the recordings initially. Interesting. Okay, I think I see how to do this. We're just gonna go this way. I think it's over here, like so, onto the roof. And eh, we can just go all the way around the wall. That's fine. That way works too. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> what? That, I feel like you would look like a stupid fish out of water if you tried to do that in real life. Just the, the changing gravity would completely screw a person up, no doubt. Proving grounds, huh? That thing is still exploding and killing everything. And we gotta go through the proving grounds? Are you kidding me? We ain't got time for this crap. We ain't got time at all. We got a, we got a reactor to shut down. Authorized personnel only. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, are we an authorized personnel? Oh, fuck it, who cares. We got a leaf suit. We can go anywhere we darn well please because, you know, you know. LEAF SUIT! <laughs> Look at this thing. This thing is ridiculous. What is that giant hand? And a door up there. Interesting. Giant hand and... No, that's not a door. It's a facility of some nature, isn't it? So are we going around this way? Uh, that would appear so. That's something. Uh, yep, there's a door up there. Good. Good, excellent, awesome. I didn't explore out here because I've noticed some of the big areas. They really don't have much as far as secrets go. They might have one or two hidden chests, but... Ah. I don't think we need it at this point. How many acorns do we have? We have 23. Will you accept pine cones? I am heavily invested in the pine cone market. The door's having none of it. Pine cones just ain't worth what they're used to be worth. You know what I'm saying? Hey, buddy. How you doing? You go... I don't know, off to heaven or something. Oh, my God. Running into him really messes up your screen. Is it... What was that? It seemed like there was a weird noise there. Oh, there's a bunch of them, that's why. And they got a green gaseous cloud. Ow! What the fuck, dude? You just go away, guys. It's enough of you two. That's that's what we're doing. That is in that what the They drop so many orbs and pine cones. It's almost like it's a good thing to kill them. Like not not like a good thing like from a gameplay standpoint, but a good thing from like uh in universe. Like, it's a good idea to kill them. It's good for them to, to murder them viciously. Although, may, perhaps I'm using the wrong word in the wrong context here. Perhaps we're not actually killing them. Maybe it's just like sending them to, uh, the great beyond. Uh, yada yada yada. Flavor text about the land sharks competing against the raptors. How there are multiple civilizations found here. Okay, so it's all about how there's multiple architectures from different civilizations all found throughout this area. And how the land sharks are kicking everybody's ass in the games or whatever it is they do for fun around here in these leaf suits. Which, our military property, it surprises me they'll have, like, competitions or anything, but I suppose you gotta test your suits somehow, right? So yeah, it says there's, uh, traces of architecture from all the ancient civilizations here. Which is, eh, not entirely interesting in and of itself. For me, anyway, what is... Oh look, there's a little runny platform so you can get back up if your dumbass falls down. This is above the Proving Grounds. Okay. So down there is our first little area that we came into. And this is the top area of the Proving Grounds, I guess? Huh. Interesting, I suppose. Uh, keep an eye out for any chests, guys. Look for any chests. You see any chests? I don't see any chests. 
Does it want us to- oops, gotta miss that. Does it want us to go this way? There's an acorn door over here, I will note. How many acorns do you require? A lot? 24, I have 23, are you kidding me? You must be joking, I have 23 acorns and you require 24? Ah, uh, probably just has an energy upgrade anyway, so... Eh, guess we're gonna miss a door, guys, sorry! I did my best! Uh, wait, there's a chest right there! What does that contain? Does it have acorns? Ah, uh, acorns? Why do I want candy? I don't want candy! Bubblegum and taffy. Oh, I don't remember the rest of the song. Aqua Teen Hunger- Oh, I'm gonna miss that jump. Aqua Teen Hunger Force, anyone? Um, MCP pants? <laughs> Aqua Teen Hunger Force. What a ridiculous series on Adult Swim, eh? Oh, boy. Do you see any more chests? Anybody see any more chests down here? Why is this all lit up blue and shit? What, what reason does this have for being lit up blue? Very, very blinding bright blue, too. Like the kind of blue that your router makes in your bedroom. It keeps you awake. Am I the only one that has that problem? I can't be. I cannot be the only one that has like a bright blue light on my- I look over at my- on my router. Yeah, no, there's definitely a bright blue light on that thing. I can't be the only one that has that problem. Because it is like- the bright blue LED is ubiquitous amongst technology nowadays. Where are we going? Is there a directive here? Well, there's one of those guys, and I get my double jump back from making that attachment to the Viper platform, so... We're good there, I suppose. Uh, there's another arrow pointing that way, and there are tons of enemies. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. Am I going back and forth? God, I hope not. It's kind of easy to get lost. Uh, no. It's kind of easy for Whammo to get lost in this area, because Whammo is talking- Oh my goodness! <laughs> Made it. No big deal. No big deal, because Whammo is talking and not necessarily paying attention to where he needs to be going. Which, in this case, I need the momentum off this hill in order to run down here and go across. You like he's so perfect. Oh, it's a little island out in the middle of nowhere. Hmm, interesting. And a tree. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. We can get an acorn from this tree and run back to that, uh, door, or we can just pretend that we didn't see that door. And the tree didn't drop any acorns anyway. Perfect. Works for me. <laughs> So we gotta make this jump now. Uh, trees, when you give them life, something I didn't know up till this point, uh, they actually drop acorns sometimes. Wow. We got a whole boatload of speed there, didn't we? Oh my god, I kept it. Ow! <laughs> I, I didn't expect to keep the speed when I jumped again and hit the ground. That was probably a pseudo bunny hop right there. 1943, okay, there you go. What is the significance behind these colossal statues found throughout the valley? I find they all look so very voracious. I keep returning to the idea of the mythical Saiteka, the legendary tribe of cannibalistic giants that roamed North America and came into conflict with the aboriginals. But why would they be worshipped here? There must be something else to it. Hmm. I don't know. Giant- Whoa, 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 whoa. Giant monster things being built into rocks is something pretty amazing. It's not like you see that in every culture everywhere, they building deities into rocks or anything. Ah! It's a pretty common thing, actually. The, as the Aster facility... As the Aster facility increases output, the orbs can no longer keep pace. As such, energy will often be pulled from its surroundings. Only those equipped with leaf suits may venture nearer during increased production. So they knew that it was drawing in energy besides what it was being fed from the, uh, the life seed. Or the energy amplifier, wow. And yet they continued to, uh, just, you know, burn energy, just not allowing any humans to come close to it. It's a very curious thing, that is. Just knowing that they're drawing energy from the valley around it. This new source of energy seems incredibly vague. Virginia King, May 19, 1943. The Sasaurians, much like other indigenous peoples, seem to hold strong cultural value with legendary creatures. The most notable one being the creature depicted on all these doorways. It resembles the mythological Wendigo, a fierce creature with an insatiable desire to the flesh. The creature is most often linked with both greed and famine, acting as a balance of nature. Why would this creature hold such a strong cultural significance to them? Jesus, working on two rows of energy now. Okay, so now I'm, I'm almost positive all of these acorn doors just have energy upgrades behind them. Meaning that, ah, uh, they're not really necessary for, uh, receiving all the necessary plot elements to the game, if you will. So, we're probably, well, considering we're out of acorns and my, uh, 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 I forgot what I called the other thing. My pinecone, <laughs> my pinecone market isn't doing well, I doubt we'll be getting any of these doors open with just pinecones, so. We're gonna have to do with not going in any more of the acorn doors, unless we find a huge stash of acorns at some point, which... I kinda doubt, but I guess you never know. 
Could happen. Uh, that tree had fireflies, but yet it doesn't seem to be linked with anything. Is it? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, there it is. See? Just use your brain hole and look around. I already got that tree. Got that tree. Oh, it's open. Well, fuck me, right? <laughs> I guess, uh... I guess this is the way forward? Yeah? Oh, apparently so. Good. Look at this. Look what I just saw in the distance. Look what I spied with my little eye. Medallions! Everybody loves a few medallions. Come on. They're great. They, uh, they do things. As of yet, they have proved completely worthless and only a waste of time. But hopefully that will change in the near future. We'll see. Waterfall! Neat. That was awesome. I love jumping through waterfalls. I would have liked some residual water effect off of that, though. Now then. Oh my god, we ran through him really fast. This is what we've been getting all the medallions for. Hopefully. God tell me I'm not wrong. Am I right? Uh, tell me you don't take 50. 30! Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! So that is why I went back to grab more medallions, so we can enter the pyramid and see what it contains, because I am curious. Can you, can, Virginia, 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 please. I understand you want to understand the Wendigos better and explain it to us, but stop it. Stop it. Virginia! Thank you, girl. I appreciate you stopping. What is in the Temple of Power? Don't tell me that's another medallion door, because I will literally shoot someone. That better not be another medallion door. Oh crap, I can't believe- Oh damn it, somebody else was in here. I can't believe we're the first squad to connect up medallions to get inside this place. The land sharks can eat it. Yes, did the raptors win? To be fair, we we owe it a lot to these weird prototype upgrades we were ordered to test out. We should make this pyramid our new base camp. The magical fires in here spook me a little though. Yeah, yeah, no, that is kind of spooky, isn't it? What kind of mysterious prototype upgrades could we be receiving? Was it the raptors that made it inside here first? God, I hope so. Man, I want the raptors to win. Is this a gun? Just straight up a freaking gun? Uh, do I not already have that? Oh! It's a free viper coil. I don't, uh... I don't know what I expected. That's cool. Uh, does that mean that all the upgrades in here contain similarly free upgrades? Tell me you don't cost money. Oh my goodness! Oh, 40? 40? You gotta be kidding me! So this is clearly <laughs> end game stuff. I was- I wanted to know what was in here and I guess... Excuse me? Can I stop falling on that, please? I guess we found out, finally, what was in here. Was it the raptors that made it first, though? That note didn't make it clear whether or not it was a raptors. It just says, note from a pathfinder. Damn it. Is there any other notes in here? It doesn't appear to be. Shit. Well, I guess we'll never know if it was indeed the raptors that were the first to open the pyramid or not. It's kind of funny that the, <laughs> the land sharks didn't win it, though. That's, uh... That's pretty awesome. I didn't know about that, by the way. I just totally went by what I wanted to. Pretty awesome, regardless. Hey, Corns, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's talking about the Caesarians and constructing this crazy crap. How did they do it? Virginia talking more about the Wendingos. They really want you to understand that Wendingos are a bad thing. I just like saying Wendingo. 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 I bet there's stuff down there, but we need nothing to continue on in our quest. We are almost there. I shouldn't have jumped. I could have gotten tons of velocity. Coming down these things. Look at this. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And now we have the free Viper Coil. Excuse me, guys. Gotta just get past you. Smoke Lake. Now that we got the free Viper Coil, I mean, yeah, we can basically Viper Coil all day long to our heart's content. Not that it's really gonna do anything, but it's something, I suppose. Just grab this for shits and giggles. There we go. Mm, fuck it. <laughs> just grab onto whatever. I get that. I guess I get the extra double jump for no reason other than to have an extra double jump. Running past most of this stuff, I don't see anything along the sides that would suggest we should stop, so... We're gonna keep running until we need to stop, which probably will be right up here. Nope, I was kidding. We're gonna keep going. To hell with you, game. We're gone. Oh my goodness. Didn't expect to make that far of a jump. We made it clear into the next area. Awesome. That was great. That was fantastically great, actually. Best thing ever. What upgrade might you contain, Mr. Chest of Mystery? Uh... Bear Claws. Mmm, I like bear claws. Lake Skipper upgrade allows a Pathfinder to run across water for a limited duration. Your speed will increase as you run. Why can't it be like that on regular land? Did that give me little footsie things? No, nope, sure didn't. The Valkyrie Pathfinder squad with testing out the Lake Skipper upgrade for the leaf suit. The lake near the Astra facility should prove ideal for the assessment. I expect a full report on my desk as soon as testing is complete. Awesome. Look at that. 
That's great. So we have to enter at a shallow angle in order to do it. I guess not unlike skipping a rock, like I said. There was a door back there. I imagine an acorn door, which has a power upgrade, which we don't need at all. It makes a little beeping noise when you're running across the water. So I think that's the timeout limit. Although if you accelerated and kept gaining speed, it wouldn't seem like you would need to stop ever. Because you could just keep skipping across the water, right? And you just keep shoveling water backwards. There's a lizard. Uh, those of you familiar with the Animal Kingdom, I forget for the life of me what it's called. But there is a... Uh, I don't hit the tree. There is a lizard that has a, uh, a little cape, not unlike the Jurassic Park lizard that kills Dennis Nedro in his car. You know, the little shaky cape? <laughs> And he, uh, he spits on his face, and he's like, ah, ah, you know what I'm talking about? Come on. The, oh, I shouldn't have jumped. Those who know Jurassic Park know exactly what I'm talking about, and everybody has seen Jurassic Park. In any case, there's like a small, you know, 10-inch version of, of that thing that has, like, webbed feet that can run across water like this. I just, I don't know, I have mild curiosity. Just some, uh, for some reason, reminded me of that. You see, uh-oh. Uh, nah, you see the little lizard running across the water. Wow, that got a lot of height off that. Damn. Ooh, look what I see. Although, we don't really need him. Yeah, just reminded me of the little lizard running across the water. It looks hilarious. There's plenty of videos on the internet of it doing its little water skipping routine in slow motion. It's an, an interesting watch if you haven't seen it ever. And something to uh, know exists in the animal kingdom. One of those crazy quirks of nature. Where are we going? We are still making way to the facility, although it is much more lush and green out here. Uh-oh. 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 Oh my goodness. We almost didn't make that. <laughs> we started to fall in at the last second. It made kind of a noise when it started to fall in. Ah, you probably heard it. Oh, gonna jump over that, for sure. And jump this, too. Whee! Now this is what I'm talking about here. Now this is pod racing. <laughs> What's with me and weird references today? I don't know. Fucking up words and having weird references is something I do, apparently, sometimes. Here we go. Up over the next hump. We have to be getting close to the facility. They were not that far apart. And we have taken a fairly... Eh, I suppose it's been a little bit roundabouty path. But it should be right here. Like, it shouldn't be much further than that. Why is the valley dying? Oh, right. <laughs> Come on, Whammo. You just talked about this. Uh-oh. No. Uh, okay, we're good. No, let's jump again. Oh, shouldn't have jumped. Shouldn't have jumped. Oh, yep. Shouldn't have jumped. Saw that coming. It's not my fault. I, like, stubbed my toe on a rock and it launched me 16 feet in the air. It's not my fault. Not my fault. Not my fault. We're going to keep saying that. Also, this valley is extremely dead now. Look at how much energy I have. I can, like, take one more death, maybe. Uh, perhaps we should use some of this energy that we've stored up to, uh, give ourselves some extra lives, as it were. Because that's kind of what you use for extra lives. Let's just go ahead and... Like so, like so. I got an achievement called Tree Hugger. There we go. Now I've got full lives. Okay. We should be good now. I hope. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we should be good. So this, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sit around here spraying everything with my glorious life essence. <clears throat> no pun intended. And, uh... That'll offset the, uh, any downsides that blowing up the facility shit might have. Oh, look, there's a nice little ledge for us to land on if we're stupid like me. And miss the jump entirely. We're getting closer. It is spewing a cloud of black smoke, but at least it's not a black cloud. It was a black cloud when we first got here, so that's a plus. Are these, like, ankles? Why are there ankles sitting here? Jump, baby! Wow. Got some height on that bad boy, didn't we? Let's go ahead and do another jump so we're landing on a downhill slide. Perfect. Nailed it. And now... We should be on the approach of the facility, yes. How do we get in from here, though? Uh, I'm just gonna keep running. Oh, this looks broken. I think we can break this. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Ah, crash through the window, Matrix style. Ooh. All that's missing there is me just shooting a bunch of people. Yeah, well, straight through. Uh-oh, that's not good. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I need like a, a, an instant down, like a Tetris. A, what, what do they call it, a fast down? What do they call that in Tetris? Or, I think... Why are you making so much noise, water? Water is so noisy. I need a way to slam myself instantly to the ground like a butt slam. To, uh, stop me from falling off of ledges or running entirely too far. Cause, uh, that would have saved me like three or four times now if I would have had that. Oh, look at you. Although, you know, probably don't need you guys. Does that max? Nope, I need one more to max up my energy upgrades. Uh, can we run in from there? I'm not gonna try. I don't trust that little ledging. Well, it's exactly the same over here, so... Fuck it. Good. We can run across. Thank God. I was worried about that for a second. Boop. There we go. And smashing our head into the ceiling. Great. <clears throat> in case of emergency, measures are in place to contain any core meltdowns within the Astra facility. Pumping stations will continuously divert water from the lake into Astra until the core cools, averting fallout. Interesting. So we have a way to stop the place from destroying itself. But it... 
Okay, but it's... Thank you, unenthusiastic announcer woman. So there is an ability for it to flood if it starts to melt down. However, this ability is not automatic. You have to... You have to turn it on. That is the worst design ever. That shit should start automatically with, like, zero intervention, if you ask me. There should not be anyone who has to do anything. If a facility starts to blow itself up, it should automatically contain itself, right? Right? That's water. Why is there water down there? Oh. Look at you. Perfect. Here we go. Upsy daisy and magnet wall. Hey, look at there. That, uh, was actually a lot more scary than it should have been for some reason. We're good. Suck all the energy out of this thing. Oh, yum yum. That is so bright blue that it's ridiculous. Oh, well. Didn't even need to suck the energy out of that thing. There's energy tabs right there. I need to make that jump. Hold on. Hold on. Get some momentum. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Man. Doesn't seem like you should be able to make that just off a regular run, does it? But, uh, I suppose whatever. Uh, excuse you. Please stop. Where'd the other one go? Where'd the other one go? There was two of you. Hi, buddy. I knew there was two of you, see? I still don't understand you guys. Are we- is this an all-dogs-go-to-heaven type thing? Are we sending you happily into the afterlife? Do you want us to shoot you with energy? It's all very, very odd. Uh... Okay. So we're going down into the abyss then, huh? It would appear so. I there was water below me before, was there not? Well, fuck it. I guess we just drop in the hole. Hopefully it's not water? Nah. Not water. We're good. There is not water down here. Lots and lots of not water. Or what people normally call air. Hey, look! Bunch of, uh... I, these must be babies. These must be baby versions of the big things we're fighting, right? They have to be. I don't know, and they like feed on the blue glowy energy that comes out of the plants? Yeah, sure, why not? Sounds about right, and so what we're... <laughs> so what we're doing is we're forcefully mating the bigger ones and forcing them to have baby little ones. Although no little ones have sprung out of them yet, so... They're just, they're feeding their young whenever we feed them tons of life energy. Also, I am jumping into like a serious cavern here. Is there a destination? Are we going somewhere? We need to turn on the cooling system to avert fallout, but... This- we so far just running on- uh, to underground caves of some nature. It's weird. What exactly do they want us to do? Oh look, there's more of the little creature things down here. What exactly do they want us to do down here? Why would the switch to, uh, turn on the cooling system be down in an underground cave anyway? Doesn't that all seem a bit odd? A bit counterintuitive? I don't know, it does to me. Maybe that's just how they like to do things. They like to live life on the edge. They like to play with fire, as it were, when they build crazy weapons. Oh, no, not weapons. Crazy alternative energy sources, as this project, I'm sure, is labeled on all the sheets that the government stamps, which is a little too in-depth for, I think, what this game's trying to achieve. I don't know where we're running to. Uh, okay, we made it. I don't like entering water. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, 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 whoa. I don't like entering water when I don't know what my destination is, because then it'd be very easy to get turned around and not quite know what you're going to. Uh-oh. This might be a problem. No, nope, run up the thing. Run up the thing. Here we go. We're good. We're good. Up and out of the hole. Perfect. Fucking nailed it. Did you guys see that? Bye! That was- that was clean. That was good. Wow. I, uh, hmm. Gotta pat myself on the back for how well that went. Didn't even get hit. Well, I might have gotten hit. I wasn't really paying attention. Hits are kind of meaningless in this game anyway. Hello? Hmm. No lore dump down here? Oh, maybe there is. If production is not slowed down soon, there won't be much Amrita energy left to draw from the valley. I think this place is our, our own personnel in danger. Oop, shaking. Fisher's hell-bent on trumping Oppenheimer. He's hell-bent on beating the person building the atomic bomb. I don't think this is a good idea. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea to try and build a life bomb to trump an atomic bomb, considering the atomic bomb is the most vicious weapon mankind has ever devised. It seems like trying to invent the life obliterating version of that might be kind of a bad idea. Just saying. Uh, what? This doesn't look good. Yeah. Really? Oh, no. Why are there human bones down here? Whoa, what am I gonna fight? I'm gonna fight something, although I really don't have a means to fight. All I have the ability... Great! Fantastic. Feeding ground for what? A giant earthworm? What is down here? A Wendigo? One of those big giant monster thingies? Ugh, it's loud, and it's big. What is it? Uh... What is it? I hear it tunneling through the rock. What is it? Ah! Please don't! <sighs> okay. Enough suspense is enough. 
Hello? Sorry, I had to itch my nose before this fight starts. Hello? Hello? Hi! Holy crap! Yeah, don't hurt me. I didn't mean it. I love your album. Sorry, Lord. Ah, what are you? You're like Darth Vader on LSD. Okay, look. Yeah, definitely Darth Vader on LSD. That's what you are. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, okay. Oh, look at that! Ah, they get to reuse the, uh... That's the animation they played when the tower was shooting out, uh, life-absorbing stuff. So they get to reuse that for, uh, this guy's- holy shit! Some bullet hell stuff right there, I love it! Fantastic! Ouch! Also, holy crap, you hurt! Whoop! Easy! 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 Stop it! Stop it! Oh! Get off me! Yeah! We're good. We're fine. Need to go get more energy before he does his next attack, though. Do 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 do. Should be like two full bars. Yep, two full bars. We're good. What the? Oh my god! Yes! Look at that! That is fantastically awesome. Cool. Dude, you are great. I love this boss. I love the idea of a bullet hell boss in a game like this. Did I do it? Oh, he's gone. He went. Whoa! He went peacefully into the afterlife. I fed him enough human life, although he's been taking all this energy. He could have easily just taken this. This and been perfectly fine. This must be where they fed on everyone. Who's they? What was that? Also, why did feeding him energy? I just fed him more. That's like trying to fight the cookie monster by feeding him more cookies. Although, you know, I guess that would work, technically. If you want to, you could make him overeat on cookies, just saying. But still, you get my point. We're giving him what he wants. You're giving a fish water and saying you're gonna die now. That's just not gonna work. Oopsie daisy. Uh, we need to find a way to shut this thing down still. Still working on doing that. Just, don't worry, we're just fighting bosses. It's only the beginning. Imagine a weapon of mass destruction without the structural damage incurred. By extrapolating the mechanics of the leaf suit's god hand to a larger scale, I have devised a weapon capable of stripping all life from cities, even entire nations when used with the life seed. The Thanatos cannon will be the optimal super weapon, rendering all others obsolete. These bombs we're all competing to produce will look paltry in comparison. So, you mentioned the Thanatos Cannon, the thing that Virginia and Edwin, uh, intended to use to destroy Astra as being the weapon of choice, and then it can drain the life from an entire nation? That's pretty redonk, if I do say so myself, although given what we've seen so far in this game, the island doesn't seem to provide much for what this thing needs. Although we don't know what energy is being used for, I mean, it's absorbing energy, but to do what? Doesn't really say. Uh, okie dokie. What? What you're doing here is What? Are you Are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Let me explain to you why I'm laughing. Okay. So, we've been gathering these things for energy. Uh, that's where all the energy stems from, right? Is gathering these things. Those things are babies that become the little demon things. Those little demon things turn into Amrita Storms, or something along those lines, and those Amrita Storms turn into the bigger things, and those turn into the even bigger things that we fought. So by shooting the energy from these things at these things, we effectively produce more of these things. <laughs> Forceful mating was right, that's what we're doing. We're making them produce more young. That's fantastic! <laughs> oh my god, look! Look, you can even see a little one inside that! Oh, poplars! That's what they are. They're just poplars. That's it. Everybody knows poplars are amazing. Uh, Futurama. Uh, yeah. If you haven't seen Futurama, just watch Futurama. You'll understand what poplars are maybe late into the series. So, now we know that we're destroying a certain being. <laughs> Still funny. We're, they're using a certain being. No, oh, excuse me. As energy. So, that's what Virginia and Edwin tried to stop. 
access into the Astra facility during their night of attack. Admittedly, their plan was rather genius. Since Astra and Soma are linked, they intended to fire the Thanatos cannon connected to Astra's thermal storage at the Soma facility's energy reservoir to create a feedback loop of amplifying intensity until the system blows out. Not unlike a microphone to a speaker. So what Virginia and Edwin plan to do is shoot the big cannon at the energy stores of the other facility, which would feed back into this facility and allow you to shoot the cannon more. Basically just cre creating an energy loop out of nowhere, which, you know, that doesn't work like that, but hey. Oh my god, for some reason I thought the cannon would be smaller. Uh, that's a big gun. temporarily removed the live seed from the Soma reactor necessary for the amplification, thus creating a harmless feedback loop when they attempted to fire Thanatos. Without the live seed, their plan was doomed to fail from the beginning. Yeah. I will not tolerate any more disruptions. We have lost too much ground to Manhattan. Yeah, dude, we're, you're crazy, we know. Resume exponentially. If the orbs Please stop. Not suffice, then we'll use we know. The damn valley itself. We know, dude, you're fucking insane. So the life seed amplifies the power that runs through it. And what? Hey, wait a minute. That's not how big that was. Continuity people, that's not how big that was. The life seed was huge. The thing was the size of an alien egg with face suckers and all. What is going on here? What is. Oh, we're moving. Yep. We're, uh. We're going up, I guess, for some reason. Oh, we're gonna shoot it, aren't we? Yeah. That was not that big, but. Ugh, plot purposes. I guess we, uh, stored that way up there. We had to shove it way up there. That's how we stored that thing. Uh, is this the cockpit? Yeah, amplified feedback loop. That's what we've been getting at. Not like blowing out a speaker, because those have built-in mechanisms to stop that from happening. This is more like just a feedback loop. Regular old-fashioned feedback loop. Do I... Do I get in? Ow! Stop! God, doors! How do they work? Now that is the kind of chair I want. That's fucking fancy. Oh, look! Uh, left and right to move... Ah, okay... Left and right to aim the Thanatos cannon. I assume we are shooting at that. Well, the fire button lit up, so right click the fire. You ready? Are you guys ready for this feedback loop? It's gonna be amazing. Here we go! I just press it? I just pressed it. But we'll see what happens. There's a lot of things that have to open for this to work. Hey, And we're firing. Good deal. For some reason I expected something more epic, but I guess it'll work. It should get more powerful as time goes on, right? I would have thought it'd go faster than this, but hey, who cares? Yeah? Oh, there we go. Now she's ramping up in effectiveness. There we go. Now we're talking. Boom. Although this is just it's just an energy gun. I mean, fuck. It's just we just drew the life out of the facility itself and exploded it. Uh-oh. That's not good. Ah! Uh, good thing we're wearing these boots. We're fine. Yeah, no problem. Nothing a little shock absorbing boots can't help save you from. Uh-huh. Okay. Evacuate. I can do that, I think. We can get the hay out of Dodge. Where is the door? Excuse me. Does anybody know where the door is at? Is this... Is this the door? Oh. Well, we fucked that place up. Found the way out. I'm gone. Bye bye <laughs> Yeah, mule. Yeah. So, we destroyed both facilities. Ow. Oh, those don't have collision. But still, ow. We destroyed both facilities, and... Destroyed both facilities, and this one is trying to flood to stop itself from exploding. So we are effectively removing this place from the history books, right? Because how are you going to figure out what happened here unless somebody... Well, I guess the demons will be proof enough, assuming they survive. No! Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> that wasn't my way out. This is. Good. Assuming the demons survive, somebody could just come back here. So destroying the facility really doesn't serve much purpose. I'm, of course, assuming that this is 2018. Uh, the game, that is. And not, uh... You know, it kind of doesn't explain what the year is when this game is played. So, it, it could very well still be the 40s. Although that kayak looked modern and her gloves looked modern, so I would guess that it's at least after 2000. So, finding this place would be like a treasure trove. You'd think the government would want to find this place. Uh, yeah. Oh no. How our uh, protagonist ended up here is a question. Well, it's not a question. She broke her canoe. Stop shooting me. Bitch. I will forcefully mate all of you, I swear to God. Every one of you. Every one of you is having babies right now, whether or not you're ready. You're all having babies. There you go. And you know what I'm going to do with those babies? I'm going to eat them. 
Yeah, how's that make you feel? End your lineage right there, just because you had to harass me. <sighs> so we don't know if this, I mean, this technically could be like Virginia's daughter coming back or anything, really. We just don't know the time frame. Maybe it says somewhere and I missed it, but I definitely wasn't paying enough attention. So they're getting killed by the creatures, that's curious. Are there any notes in here that I can read of interest? There should be, right? Should at least be one note that he left behind that says something. Ah, there he is. Letter from Virginia- Game, I'm trying to read. Letter from Virginia King to Andrew Fisher. I beg of you, Fisher, Pendulum must reduce production immediately to mitigate its detrimental environmental effects. The world- the world has the right to experience this place, and we will lose it if nothing is done. Yeah, very much so. Uh, although I will say, because what we're doing right now is blowing the damn place up, we're gonna lose it anyway because, you know, blowing the damn place up. So, yeah. I guess that they just were killed off by all the natives. All the people on the island were dragged down to that cave and eaten by the bigger monster thing. And, uh, life goes on, I guess. How am I supposed to get out that way? Oh. If I'd pay attention to the environment, I would know. This is how we get out this way. Am I supposed to go up or down? I'm going up. Because up seems like a better idea. The facility is flooding. Upsy daisy Here we are. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's so hard to get off the rails. Ow. On the crazy train, you know what I'm saying? Nope. Nope. Let me through. Nope. Door was trying to shut on me. Shut door. Now you can shut. Now you can shut. There you go. Thank you, door. Now the slide to victory. Or I guess, indeed, the fast run to victory. Yadi da! Fast run to victory! Wadi da! Wow, this is gonna be a really fast run to victory. Here we go. Moving down the pipes. Ouch, ouch, ouch. God, it's not like slooging, sleuthing? Slu what do they do in the Olympics with the with the sled down the ice? You know, in the, in the, it's like a water pipeline thing. The Jamaican team got banned because they were smoking marijuana. I don't know, whatever. It's not like that at all, because you can hit the walls and stuff. You don't want to do that. Oh, look, the outside. Whee! Oh, that's not good. That's probably going to kill us. Uh, kaboom? That doesn't seem good either. Also, yeah, we just jumped into water, which we've heard before kills us. <laughs> Though we didn't die. Plot-related event. Why do you have three arms? Oh, <laughs> Thought you had three arms there for a second. You scared me, you crazy mutant bastard. Oh god, we killed the island. We killed the entire island. I mean, the facilities are gone. But is that really better? We still kinda killed the entire island. Instead of everything just being dead, now everything's dead and on fire. Which is, you know, objectively worse than the way it was before, just dead. I mean, I'm just saying. That's... <laughs> that's not so great. What are we floating on, a piece of metal? How does metal float? Ah, oh, it's a piece of wood or something. Piece of burlap sack. Oh, there's a dead deer over there with floaty orbs above it. No, 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 grab your glove and bring it back to life! You can fix this! With the combined power of Thanatos and the Brahmastra Bomb, the power to control the world will lie within the hands of a small few. That doesn't sound good. No, 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 what are you doing?! That had the power to bring people back to life! How can you overlook that?! You selfish, selfish woman! Oh, that's hmm, iconic, I suppose. Is he pointing up towards the heavens? Oh, look, the little creatures survived, so they are still living around here. Good. Well, at least we didn't completely eradicate the life cycle that is on this island. Yeah, he is reaching towards the sky. Of course he is. Iconic, of course. Why did she destroy the only thing that could bring some people back to life? That is a question we will never have answered. I think that's the end of the game, guys. Yes, it is. So, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. An extremely long video, I know, but hell, it was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, thanks for being here with me. I appreciate it. If you haven't picked up this game yet, it's gonna be down in the comments. It was cheap. Uh, yeah, when I got it. So if you can get it cheap, I highly recommend you do. It's good for a lot of fun. You can kind of look around a lot, explore a lot of environments. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.